Good afternoon, mates. How's it going? So this is my last video that I wanted to make for today. So here it gives you a sign of an interpretation of the creatures of the ancient sea in the Ordovician period. So where we're at, so you, yeah, you guys could pause the video and read if you so choose. But this is essentially a collecting site. However, the only exception is if you want to collect a certain amount of specimens, you usually have to have permission by the visitor center so that they so that you're not just collecting just out of sheer greed more or less. But where we're actually standing is an example of an emergency spillway, as a matter of fact. So what exactly does that mean? Well, that basically means if ever the reservoir were to reach uh, flooding levels, the water would come over here. And that, with that being the case, it would prevent any further damage of the dam, which is not too far from here. But, yeah. So hold on a second, I just, it's so neat. But, yeah, so you figure at this exact spot, anywhere around 488 to 443 million years ago, we would be swimming in a shallow sea filled with brachiopods, bryozoans, crinoids, mollusks, I think I said that already. <laughs> you name it. I mean, they were all here at this time. Not only that, but another f common creature that was found in the Ordovician period, you, some of you may have heard of it. It is called the trilobite. I'm sure some of you have heard of that before. Ooh. I hear some northern red cardinals in the background. Sorry for getting off track. Trilobites, you may be thinking, okay, what about them? Well, as a matter of fact, they actually have a living relative that still exists to this day. Can any of you think of what might look similar to a trilobite nowadays? If you actually thought of a horseshoe crab off the top of your head, you would have been correct. Those are a distant relative of the trilobites. And what's fascinating about them is they lived 35 times longer than that of humans. So what does that tell you? That That's a long time. And they apparently became extinct about 250 million years ago so that probably falls within probably the permian period i'm gonna double check on that because i admit some of my geologic time scale is a little rusty <laughs> but uh part of the reasons as to why they became extinct not all of it is uh, very certain but they were very prominent creatures in these types of seas and here it looks like we kind of have growth of, I want to say it's kind of like a fen, I think. Considering that we do have some natural springs nearby. But I can't really say. I mean, just based on the fact that there's little streams and most of it is clear water, I kind of would say this is kind of making a new formation of a fen. And you figure glaciation has happened here, so that does kind of make sense. But yeah, this is uh, this is always one of my favorite uh, final stops before I officially depart. You know, it's a nice way to calm down after a. Well, I'm gonna say it now. The perimeter trail is 13 miles long. But if you do any other sightseeing to get off the trail, perhaps, 
it would probably be a bit closer to 14. So <laughs> you could say I'm actually a bit uh, a bit pooped out. And it's it's pretty warm out today. It's probably up in the upper 60s. Probably even getting into the 70s. So I'm just trying to get used to that type of warmth again. But I love it. And probably soon some uh, new physical features are going to take place. <laughs> just a context clue. But yeah, look at this. To see all these prominent features of the shells right here. I'm trying to see if we can, if we're lucky enough to find any brachiopods. Because sometimes those can be slightly trickier to find. Hmm. Ah! Whoops. I nearly tripped. Fun, fun. Wow. Just look at the sheer detail. Isn't that amazing? Every now and then, too, you can find horn coral. So it's kind of in the name. It's a, it's a type of coral that existed during the Ordovician period. And it's essentially in the shape of, say, a, I don't know, a goat's horn. Yeah, very similar in that type of shape, but... Like I said, you could literally spend hours here on end if you wanted. I mean, there's just so much to look at. In a way, it's kind of overwhelming, but in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. This is a fellow geologist's paradise, as a matter of fact. Wow. Yeah. Quite amazing. I mean, just look at that. Look how much rock there is. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's all right. Thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you learned something about, you know, what some of the features were during the Ordovician. You know? It's like, you know, we can see these rocks, but what do they really tell us? And why are they so important? What did they indicate of Earth's past? Because, you know, as humans, we did not always exist. Because at one point on this planet, there used to be just these marine creatures, and that was really the extent. So, all right. Hope all of you enjoy your Saturday, and Journey on a Journey is outwards. Take care, folks.